Okay, hello, uh, my friend there. Welcome back to Mental Career Chats. And I want to believe um, you're moving on well in the year. It's uh, about two days now into the new year. And I want to believe that uh, you've already started laying down your strategies for the year. You've started laying down your plans so that the year doesn't just proceed and uh, just uh, days go by and you don't know what you really want in this year. Uh, as for me, for the last two days or so, I have been meditating on the, the, the year, the new year, as I take the stock of the previous year 2021. And one of the things I came across as I was trying to now look at the 2022 and lay down my strategies, put down my plans, I came across something from my mentor, House of Mentors, whom I follow, whom I met, um, try to imitate, whom I try to gain some insight from. And I felt like I, I also need to share with, um, with my, my, my mentees. And you could be there as a student, as a parent, as a teacher, as an aspiring mentor. And I know whatever you're going to share here this uh, moment, it's going to be of great help to you. So let's look at it. Okay. Um, I said that I have been trying to look at my mentor and there are some four things I, I just came across my mentor, which I felt they are going to drive my year 2022. And this evening, I felt I could also share with my mentees from wherever they are so that they can also benefit from it. Okay, one of the things I came across from my mentor is that my mentor was talking about destiny connectors. Um, a destiny connector, I would say, is that person who really can, uh, can be a person like is going to open a door for you. You know, that person who will connect you to some, some people somewhere who can be the solution to that problem you have been struggling with. That is a destiny connector. A person who just comes into your life and it's like things just start learning smoothly in your life. They, 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 things just change. You don't uh, struggle anymore with the issues which you have been struggling with. That is what we call a destiny connector. And uh, this destiny connector doesn't have to be a very complicated person. Uh, like um, I, I, I read a, 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 a storybook, which to me, it guides my life. I, 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 that is a, a book I read continuously and every day. That it, it, never, it never grows out of time. It is always new to me. It has so many stories. And I was reading about a story about a, a man called Naman in that book. And um, this man uh, was suffering from some sickness which could not be cured using his medicine. And the destiny connector who came with the solution to that problem was just a, a, a servant girl, a slave girl in his house who connected him to somebody who could cause his healing. And actually, when uh, this man in Amman obeyed what the slave girl said, this slave girl actually, uh, I mean, a sickness was able to, to clear. So basically, that is what I'm talking about, a destiny connector. A person who just appears in your life and something you have been struggling so, so much with, it just, just goes. You, it doesn't even cost you anything. For Naman, even the money, you wanted to pay the person who, who cost his healing to happen. He, the man said he doesn't want the money. So a destiny connector doesn't even have to be somebody you're going to spend so much on so that you can, uh, you know, you can get that thing. Yeah? And for you, the student, basically I'll be talking to, to the student, but anybody else can get a, a, a point from this. Uh, a destiny connector could be that other student. Remember, we've been talking about academic friends and we have been insisting that 
Anytime as a student, make sure you have an academic friend. And we said academic friend is not a social friend. Because if you go discussing issues of academics with somebody you know too much other things with, you are likely to deviate from the academic. So make sure you have an academic friend. So I was saying that a destiny connector could be that academic friend you're going to get. And this person, it's like just comes and becomes a solution to you in every everything. When you have a concept you want to understand, this person seems to just have a very easy way of explaining it to you. You, uh, if, uh, you, you have a, a, an issue that is troubling you and you're not concentrating in class, you can go and share with this friend of viewers and uh, this person is like, gives you a solution of that thing which is making you lose concentration in class. That becomes a destiny connector. And one thing I'll tell you student is that don't despise someone in class because of maybe their social background or they don't look quite privileged like you and um, you are a bit choosy on whom do I talk to about academics. Please don't do that. A destiny connector may be somebody who doesn't even have anything physically looks like it can be a solution to your problem. And that person will be your destiny connector. So don't choose, don't, uh, don't despise people, yeah? Don't despise teachers. That teacher you think is uh, does not dress so well, does not talk good English. You know, that teacher you just think looks a bit clumsy, that could be your destiny connector in school. So don't choose. Don't uh, be very choosy because in the process of being choosy, you are going to lose your destiny connectors. And the minute you lose a destiny connector as a student, let me tell you, anybody, even me as a person, even you as somebody working in an office, the minute you lose a destiny connector, you lose something very precious in your life because that person could have connected you to something and things would start flowing easily. But then now when you lose that opportunity, that opportunity may never come again. So basically that is about destiny connectors. Think about somebody in your life who you are going to engage so that you can uh, you know, you can, you can flow well. And you teachers, you parents, pray for your students that they may get to destiny connectors. You know, just uh, as you pray for your students, as you pray for your people every day, for, you, for your child every day, make sure you tell God to connect this child, to connect this student to the destiny connector. You are a teacher, you have seen a student who is so much traveling in your subjects. Why don't you... I mean, uh, say a word of prayer for them, uh, even one morning and tell God, this student is so much struggling with what I'm teaching, they're not understanding. God give them a destiny connector. Person who is coming and make them understand. You know, I've seen somebody, I, I, um, like I, when I teach, I allow my students to, to interact among themselves in groups. And uh, I have actually almost seen that some, sometimes my students may not understand me when I'm explaining a concept on the board. But when they go into small groups, they, they are able to understand that language of themselves. Those are basically connectors for your students. Give your students opportunities to get somebody who can make them understand that concept. That's a destiny connector for a student. And with the, that, that is one of the things I have learned. The other thing I want us to share this uh, evening is um, the second type of a person you would desire to have in your life. And that is a person my mentor calls a, a gifted person. You know, there are, there are those people who just are like gifted in, in this. Eh? There are people who, even in a class setup, they just understand things so fast. Yeah, That person who get things so fast and uh, when you are struggling, them, they have already got that concept. That person is gifted in a certain area. So when we talk of you getting connected to gifted people in your life as a student, I said I'll base my talk this evening on a student's uh, perspective. Uh, there is that person, you as a student, who uh, may, may just appear in your life. And something you have been struggling with so much, 
it just becomes clear. Uh, let me give you a, a simple example. The other day I was, uh, I was talking to students in a school and um, the, a teacher happened to be in that meeting. So I was giving the student a very simple concept of how to maybe differentiate something. I know contains a number of students in, in chemistry. There's something called cation, anion, cathode, and anode. So as I was trying to explain to these students how they can differentiate them, most students are confused between cation and anion, which one is positive, which one is negative. Then they also confuse between cathode and dead, anode. And I know most of you listening to me, you have gone through high school, you still cannot remember. So this teacher was in the, in, the, in the meeting as I was explaining to the student. And I just used a very simple concept, something I've used for my student for years. Eh? I normally tell them to think of the, their religion. And I just use Catholic, not because I'm any biased about Catholic or anything, but I use Catholic for, I tell students just to say anything in life, as long as it makes you remember a concept. So I, I, I normally use Catholic as a way to remember this, you know, you, 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 you are maybe wondering how does the, the, the religion come to chemistry and you're going to see how simple it becomes. So I tell students, if you are uh, 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 your religion is a Catholic, um, then look at cation. Yeah, if your religion is Catholic, look at cation. Just pick on cation only. Because, and then you say, if I am a Catholic, then cation is positive. Just pick on only cation. Don't pick saying cation is positive, anion is negative. No, just pick one. So if you are a Catholic, pick cation and tell yourself cation is positive because I am a Catholic. All just that, eh? I am a Catholic. So cation is positive. And you see from there, the other three becomes very easy because the minute you know cation is positive, you know positive change will go to negative change. So cation will go to cathode. Therefore cathode is negative. Then if cation is positive, then anion is the opposite, it will be negative. And therefore, anion, because it's negative, it will go to the positive, and therefore, the anion is the positive. It becomes very easy. But you don't have to remember the four of them, just one. And then because you have read, you have discussed with your friends, you have listened to teachers in class, so you only need one to make you remember the others. That's somebody I'm talking about, a gifted person who can open up your mind. So that teacher was like, wow. I have, I have understood something. I went through high school, through college. I've been a teacher for years. I have never understood. Now I can even do an exam in chemistry. You know, that is what I'm calling a gifted person. A person who just comes and keeps you, I mean, a way, a very easy way of understanding things. So let's finish up with this. So if you have you are a Catholic, you only master cation. And cation is positive because you are a Catholic, you are positively uh, attached to that religion. Then if you are not a Catholic, then you go with the cathode. You still remain with the two. So if you are not a Catholic, then you, you, you must a cathode. I'm not attached to the Catholic religion, so cathode is negative. And then the minute you know cathode is negative, the other three are saying they just flow. If cathode is negative, then the ions which go to it will be positive. So cations will be positive. Then if cathode is positive, anode will be, uh, I mean, if cathode is negative, anode will be positive. And though, therefore, if anode is positive, anion is negative. And it becomes very easy. You know, that's, that's a simple way. Or I can give you another simple example. I teach mathematics and I notice students having problems with the longitudes and latitudes. And uh, they, are, they don't know which one flows from which direction, which one is longer and all that. So you, you can get a gifted person who can just look at uh, 
that thing which is troubling you, I think give you a simple solution. And that simple solution just becomes very easy for you. So like with longitude and latitude, me, I tell a student, let only look at the one long, that long, L-O-N-G in the longitude and we summarize the whole thing. So with the long, then it means longitudes are longer than the latitudes. So they are long, and between the two, the longitudes are long. That are because of that one long at the beginning of the one longitude. So that helps you to differentiate which ones are short and which ones are longer. Then with the direction, we still go to the long. In this one long, L-O-N-G, these are N. So longitudes are along and they learn from north because of that n on the longitude so they learn from north to south and then now if you know that the longitudes are learning from north to south then latitude will be the opposite to the east west direction and that becomes all you are teaching class six year social studies and they're having issues with the longitude and latitude you know as an, a gifted person even you teacher you can be a gifted person such that the way you deliver your content becomes so easy for your students and your student enjoy the lesson and your student have an easy time as they try to remember the concept remembering your concept doesn't become a big also for your students. Then uh, the third person I want us to discuss today is the person whom I call the, 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 the man of influence. You know, you, you need these people who have a, a big influence in, the li in, in your life, you know, and not only in your life, but they have an influence even outside there. You know, if you want to be connected, if you want to do well, I said these are going to be my 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 what my leading principles for the year 2020. I need men of influence out there. So if you know you are a person of influence, I really need you. I want to reach as many students as possible. And you see, I have no time. Not at those days, I would go out for a whole week, going to different schools, introducing myself, telling people what I do. Nowadays, my programs are so tight. But I still need to go deeper to other schools. I have been to around 11 counties. And this year, my target is to have at least an extra five more in my program. But I need men of influence who can help me reach to those places because I can't reach those places on my own. So if you have a man of influence, when you talk of man of influence, a person of influence, this is the person who can introduce you Let's say for a student uh, uh, perspective, because this evening you're talking about the students, this person can introduce you to a discussion group in the school or in your class. And uh, this discussion group is something doing well and they normally hide themselves somewhere. And this person is very influential. They are able to tell the group, I'm going to invite so and so into our group. And when you go to that group, you notice wow, you are learning, you are getting some new things. That is a personal influence. Because if that person never came in your life, you would never know about that discussion group. You would never know that they hide somewhere to discuss. You would never know that you try their certain time. They have created their extra time somewhere to go for the discussion. So I want to even as a parent, pray for your children to get a personal influence in their life. That person who will not um, see a book and hide from your child. They'll see a book which is explaining some concept quite well, and they want to share with you. They tell you, by the way, this book is good. If you are revising for biology, if you are revising for science, if you are revising for CRA, this book, you will get the point the teacher get normally bring in the exam. That's a person of influence. Teachers, pray that you also get people of influence in your life. Teachers even from other schools who can get material 
UZ, they are, they are ready to share with you. Those are people of influence, people who can reach some specific materials and uh, they will be ready and willing to share with you so that you can also share with your students. That is basically, and then normally tell this, um, when, um, tell students this, if you want something from a student, also do it the same to the student, do the same to the other students. So if you want to get people of influence your life, in your life, purpose to be also a person person of influence to other people's life. Go and share what you learn. When you discover something small, go and share with somebody else. In that way, you are provoking this person. The next time they will discover something good, they'll also come in. As a mentor, I'm purpose to be a person of influence to my friends. And that is one of the things why I'm doing this whatever video with you. I want to share with you some secret which can make you prepare good content and go and share with the students, which can open up your mind. That is being a person of influence. And then I know in the process, you're also going to get an opportunity and uh, you'll be like, okay, this one, I don't feel like I can handle, I can look for Menta Kawera to come and uh, do it. You see, that's the way people connect. So let's pray that in our lives, we get people of influence, people who can help us. And I told you the secret to that, purpose to become one. The minute you decide to become one for others, you will also become, those others will also become people of influence in you. And the same thing to the people in the business world. But today I'm not talking about business, I'm talking about students. Then the fourth person who we want you to think about this year is a person who is going to be a burden bearer for you. You know, this person who takes your challenges as their shortcomings. You know, they notice a challenge you're going through and they feel the pain. They, they notice an opportunity and they think about you. You know, if it is a, for, for, for students in school, maybe there's this person who can notice that uh, you are struggling. They had the teacher ask you a question in class. And you could not answer and they knew the answer. That person feels the burden after the lesson they comes to you. Hey, so and so, did you understand what the teacher explained? I heard you say the opposite of what the teacher was expecting. You know, that person you will know, hear you in class as a student, you are being asked a question and the teacher is asking you two, three times and you are not responding. And they'll come after the lesson and they're like, why didn't you, why were you not responding? Is it that you don't know or you didn't understand or what is it? And they will make sure they don't leave you until you have understood that. That is a person, a burden bearer for you. A person who will take your issues as their challenges, your challenges as theirs, as their shortcomings. They will not rest until they are sure that you have you are comfortable. And my prayer for you is that you get as many burden bearers as possible. It's also my prayer that this year I'm going to get many burden bearers. People will, um, it's like, they, they are like, hey, Menta Kawila, I've not seen you post as something, I've not seen you post as a picture or a, a, a session in a school. Are you, are you still not going? Are you, are you have missed an opportunity? You know, they will feel that. Eh? So I also want to pray that the students as go back to school, we are going to get abandoned bearers. And I also give you the secret. The same as about the men of influence, be abandoned bearer for other people. Students, especially who came for the academic conference, we agreed that we are going to stop reading hard and start, we start studying like teachers. We agreed that teachers don't read when they are exams. Teachers read it throughout and the only motive is to go and teach other, another person. They don't read for exams. So we said we are going to start reading for others. When you're in class, you'll be so attentive so that you can be able to go and share that which you have learned with somebody else. And then as you're in class, be abandoned bearer for somebody else. Pick that person who is already struggling with that certain subject and be abandoned bearer. In the process, you become better. You will remember more. By the way, when you teach, we agreed it is there. When you teach, you understand and you remember for a long time. So you become abandoned bearer of uh, purposing to listen to the teacher in class. You go and share with somebody else. And in the process, you also understand it and you remember it better. Basically, those are the four things which I am hoping that uh, they are going to be of great help to all of us this 
this year. For me, these are actually my main things. I want to get destiny connectors. I want to get gifts and people in my life. I want to get men of influence in my life and also to get burden bearers in my life. And I also want to hope that the, t the parents you are ready for that, you'll get more. If you want, uh, you want me to be one of your burden bearer, I'm going to be sharing more about uh, my encounters throughout the year. So you can follow me on my Facebook and you will be able to catch up with more. You can also get in touch if you feel like uh, you want us to share more, you want me to get my, into contact with your child, you want me to get into contact with your student as a teacher, you can get in touch with me and I want to has to work together. Let us be band and bear as one another. That school of viewers, we are, you are not, uh, the students are not performing so well. If your teachers are doing their everything, everything which they think they can do and it's not working for them. I'll, I'll come in and I know something will happen because I've been to many schools and something good has happened. So if you want to get in touch with me, we can work together and I know it's going to be a journey which we are going to enjoy together. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me. I want to be referring to have had something. You can also share with your children as they leave for school, encourage them when they go back to school to get destiny connectors, and encourage them to get uh, involved with the gifted people, and they also become gifted people for others. That which they know, they share. And in the process, what do they don't know? Somebody else will come and share with them. Let's, let's not have this uh, concept of, uh, of, of competition. You know, uh, our, 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 what? our curriculum is so much competition-based eh, such that a student discovers something and they don't want to share with somebody thinking this person will defeat them. I've always encouraged the student. It's not about competing. It's about making each one of us become better. You know, when you share with somebody, you are, you are retention increases. So if you have been getting 60 and you have been defeating this person getting 40, when you share, your 60 becomes 80. This person's 40 may go to 50 or 60, but you also become better. In the process, all of us become good and we pass exams, we become better people in that society. We don't have any failures. So let's try to encourage our children to be that gifted person for somebody else. There's always something a student knows. That's more than you know, share with somebody else. And this person is going to become help and in the process, God will bring you away, even gifted people. Let's encourage our children also to look for men of influence as they become men of influence from their environment and from their understanding. They will also get others. And then we also become band and bearers for one another. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching in the chat. It's been a pleasure. And I want to believe that we are going to have another moment. And please uh, subscribe to this channel, like, and above all, share. Maybe you have learned something and there's another parent somewhere, there's another teacher somewhere, there's another student somewhere who could benefit. Let's be burn and bear us. Just share this video to as many people as possible so that the message can reach as many people as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me. I value your time and I want to believe that you have learned something. May you be blessed.